थैंक यू जा रहे जा रहे जा रहे जा रहे है ना साहब आपका बहुत शुक्रिया मुख्तार यूनिवर्सिटी लाहौर Wow, wow. I have a student called Nimal. Was it done? I'm speaking. Nimal <laughs> was a popular name in your generation. Yes, I think it's because of the drama. Yeah. See, I'm not the only one. Hello, Ramin. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm also good. Okay. Hello, Durdana. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, Asad. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm fine. So I just realized that we have a class on Tuesday, and then you go for Christmas holidays, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, right. Okay. Hello, Iman. Eman, are you there? Eman. Eman. Eman, शायद लॉग इन करके गायब हो गई है, right? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so today we are going to talk about alpha decay. So who's missing from class? I think we are all there, right? I'm sure Jeel is not here. No, Shadi. And perhaps Tahreem. Huh? Perhaps Tahreem is not here as well. Ah, oh, Tahreem, yeah, will he call? Karega? Will someone call her, please? Durdana, okay, can Durdana, can you call her? Ma'am, I'm calling her, but her phone is busy. Okay. And okay, so keep in touch with her. Okay. Because she joined the class previously, yeah, then I told her to wait for a little while, right? Okay. Okay. So, what do you understand by alpha decay? What is alpha to start with? Helium. Alpha. Alpha is a Greek letter. <laughs> alpha is a Greek letter. Very good. Ah, helium. And we are using it to represent alpha particles, right? Which are yes, which is a helium nuclei that contains two neutrons and two protons. Ah, uh, two neutrons and two protons. protons. Okay, great. And who discovered this? Who showed that alpha particles are helium nuclei? He's a very famous person, right? Bohor. No, Bohor. everything was not done by Bohor. So who? There was a famous uh, formula yeah. I once wrote, and uh, I we did talk about Rutherford. Yes. Okay. Right. So, what else do you know about alpha? Okay. What's the penetration? They have a very low penetration power. Their ionization ability is great. In fact, the 
greatest among all the three natural common decays that we observe. Dubara bolo. Uh, alpha particles have the lowest penetration power. In fact, they can be shielded by using um, paper. Mm -hmm. And they have the highest ionization ability mm -hmm. and they can only travel about a few centimeters in air. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, until they get neutralized and turn into neutral helium atoms. Okay, so the ionization is explained by the fact that they are charged, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so they are the least penetrating of all radiation. And where do we find alpha particles? How do, do, do we get them? What's the usual? Well, if you have a polonium source, it can also radiate alpha particles. And plutonium can also uh, decay using the alpha decay and turn into uranium-235, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so it's, it, it naturally occurs through the process of radioactive decay right yes ma'am okay so i think the class is now complete everybody is here okay so um so alpha you know okay the, the probability of the emission of alpha particles is ha normally higher than the probability of other decay modes and that's why it naturally mostly we see that alpha particles they are emitted right and alpha emission is a Coulomb repulsion effect. Alpha emission is a Coulomb repulsion effect. And uh, we talked about helium, so we know that this is like this. And it becomes increasingly important for heavy nuclei, okay? So because, so it's important for, so the, the nuclei you were just talking about are mostly heavy nuclei. So it's important for heavy nuclei because the disruptive Coulomb effect or the disruptive Coulomb force increases with size. And uh, so this is crane page um, 246. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to erase the board. Okay. Okay, so just as we were studying uh, nuclear reactions, so we know that um, when we consider the conservation of energy, so considering the conservation of energy, linear momentum, right? And angular momentum. So we can assume that the target nucleus X is initially at rest. So if this is the case, then the energy of the initial system is just the rest energy. Right? 
which can be written as m x c squared. So for the final, this is the initial state. For the final state, we know that x prime and alpha both are in motion. Okay. They have to move in order to conserve linear momentum. So therefore, final total energy is given by mx prime c squared plus T x prime plus M alpha C squared plus T alpha. Okay, so alpha is a particle. This is C and this is alpha. Okay. So this is um, the final total energy. Okay, so I have to uh, erase again. Okay. Is it okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good. So just remember that we stopped here and now I'm going to write the next equation. Okay. Okay, so therefore we can write by conservation of energy we can say that m x c squared is equal to m x prime c squared plus t x prime plus m alpha c squared plus t alpha. So this is equation 8.1. Please notice that the symbols are slightly different because uh, last time when we were doing um, nuclear reactions, we were using Kaplan, okay? So Kaplan normally uses capital Y for this and uh, Crane is using ca capital X prime for this, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma right. So M X minus M X prime minus M alpha into C squared is equal to T X prime plus T alpha. So this is equation 8.2, 8.1. So this term is giving you the net energy released in the decay. And this is, we also call this the Q value. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I still have space. Let's see. A little bit, right? Okay. So, therefore, we can write that Q is equal to MX minus MX prime minus M alpha into c squared. So this is equation 
मैम सी स्क्वायर और सिर्फ स्क्वायर और सॉरी सी स्क्वायर डीएस Okay, so the decay will occur spontaneously. You know that the natural radioactive decay is a process that occurs spontaneously, right? So we can say and this can happen only when or only if Q is greater than zero, so Q is also can also be said to be the kinetic energy given to the decay fragment fragments. Mamma, if zero is less, will it not happen spontaneously? spontaneously? नहीं इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इट हैज टू बी पॉजिटिव मैंने आपको पीछे बताया था ना पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव में क्या फर्क होता है यस मैम ठीक है सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू टी एक्स प्राइम टी हम किस लिए यूज कर रहे हैं कैनेडिक एनर्जी Uh, from book to book and so on right so as the target nucleus on the left hand side in the initial state is at red so its momentum is equal to zero zero so zero is always a nice thing it makes things easier for us right So, by law of conservation of momentum, we can say that x prime and alpha should move with. equal and opposite momenta so that the final momentum is zero very good so therefore we can say that p alpha is equal to p x prime so this is 8.5 okay now if i tell you um if i give you for example the result that t alpha is equal to q divided by 1 plus m alpha divided by m x 
prime. So this is equation 8.6. Can you do the steps from here to here? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do it. I'll take the attendance, okay? And then when you get it, you can explain it, <clears throat> okay? We have to send you the screenshot. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma uh, we can discuss it, right? So that everybody can, all of you try it and let's see how we can reach this. Answer, okay, ma'am. Right? Okay, Tahreem. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, Asad? Yes. Durdana? Yes, ma'am. Um, Ramin? Yes, ma'am. Eman? Eman just logged in and disappeared. Honestly, I, I'm not going to mark a present now. <laughs> Where is Eman? Can you ask her? Yes, ma'am. Let's go get him. She joined the meeting and then she's not there. So that's interesting. This is a very typical example of a Zoom class, right? Yes, ma'am. Maybe she fell asleep under the comfort of her blanket. Yeah. Or maybe she just kept the phone somewhere and went to bed. <laughs> so Eman has to come and tell us this. Okay. So meanwhile, I will clear the board so that we can explain what's happening. Okay. So let's see. So who would like to explain? Iman is uh, still there but uh, logged in but not actually showing up okay so yeah so who would like to explain this did you get this answer ma'am just i'm finalizing okay this is shajil right yes ma'am hmm. Okay, meanwhile, to let me just show you. I'll just show you this, um, the page. Yeah, the I have book. found it, actually. Uh, Asad, you have found it? Asad? No, Achha, who was speaking? Shajil? Yes, ma'am. Shajil, you want to explain it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's open the board. Okay, so let's see, Shajil. Can you tell me what I should write? Then can I open my video? Your video? Yeah. Oh, no, you can open because it yourself. Have... You can open it yourself. Uh, yes, ma'am. I was just asking if I can. Yeah. Okay, so here's it. Um, let me see. Uh, okay, so that's the momentum of. Uh, just a moment, Shajil. Uh, Shajil, uh, let me give you the permission to share, okay? 
So let's see how we can do this. Wait. Um, I will have to stop my sharing and then I can give you permission to share. Okay. And multiple share. Okay. Okay, Shajil, uh, now you can share. Okay. okay, so let's see. Oops. Uh, okay. uh, so, ma'am, here is the momentum of the alpha particle. I guess everybody can see. Everybody can see, right? I can see it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's clear. Okay. So, don't move the your register, otherwise and it becomes that, blurred. Uh, after okay. that, we, we write the kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, that's half m alpha, v alpha square. Uh, mm -hmm. If we multiply and divide by uh, m alpha on uh, the diameter and denominator, we get m alpha square over v alpha mm -hmm. square over uh, two m alpha uh, m alpha square v alpha square dash. Uh, momentum because v is equal to mv so the momentum scale over mm -hmm. 2m alpha uh, and if we write the same for the x prime uh, we get the momentum uh, of the x square over 2m then if we multiply mm -hmm. m alpha we get the uh, prime uh, uh, momentum of uh, alpha square over 2m alpha dot momentum of uh, uh, m mass of alpha over m x prime so if we Take this, this is equal to um, a kinetic energy of alpha, mm -hmm. and we have that uh, separate thing. So, but we have Q, Q is equal to T alpha plus T X prime. So, if we write uh, T alpha, we have um, P alpha prime over 2 MX or uh, 2 M alpha, and we have the T X prime uh, momentum of uh, alpha square over 2 M alpha dot, dot M alpha dot MX prime. Okay. So if we say that this is the term T alpha and this is the term T alpha dot M alpha over M x prime. So I've written this here. So mm -hmm. if we take the alpha common, we get T alpha one plus M. If, and if we divide that thing over uh, over there, we get the this thing. Okay, very good. So uh, Shajil gets a point. Did you all understand what he explained? Yes, ma'am. Good. Okay, so now... Um, I should stop sharing maybe. <laughs> yeah, you can stop sharing and I'll start sharing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I have edited all. Of okay, so back to my board. Okay, so we can discuss this again on the board. And so the two main equations that we are we need for this purpose it's what we just discussed in the previous uh, uh, board uh, that we erased. So this was equation 8.4, right? And then we had P alpha is equal to P X prime, or maybe I should write this on the other side. So that, okay, let's just keep it like this. Okay, so these are the two equations we can use to get the result that we are looking for. So for this purpose, uh, you can just square this. Okay, I'll do it a little bit different than what he did, but it's basically the same. We're using the same um, equations. So uh, this is uh, momentum, which can be written in terms of the kinetic energy as well, right? So in that case, this becomes in terms of T prime because in the given expression, you know, we have a T uh, factor. So we have to include that. So we, we need T alpha. So let's bring T alpha to one side. So it's a simple manipulation. And therefore, we can write it like this. And then when you play around with this, okay. So then you can write T alpha. M alpha 
over mx alpha. Please take care of the subscripts is equal to tx prime. Okay. So alpha is the subscript, x prime is the subscript. They're not being multiplied. So maybe I should write this more clearly. No. Okay, so this is T alpha is being multiplied by all this. Okay, please remember that if this meeting ends, click on the same link again, okay? Now we still have 13 minutes. We, we have, I think, uh, I have like uh, less than 10 minutes, okay? So, Ma'am, but later. class on five o'clock that we have to take. So is this class going to extend past five? Do you have a problem? I have another class of electromagnetism ah, at 5 o'clock. We will end at 5, okay? Okay, okay. ma'am. Okay. So, again, we can take this common. So, and this will be equal to Q. Is that clear? So we've done yes, this. Yeah, so yes, ma'am. Yeah, so we've done it now. So let's go to the next steps now. We have this expression, and the final expression that we need now is going to be let me erase this. The final expression we need to arrive at is. T alpha is equal to Q into 1 minus 4 over A. Now, how are we going to arrive at this expression? Let's see. So for this purpose, um, we, we will start again from here. So I'm going to erase this side. Okay, so we have this m alpha over mx prime. Let's use the fact that this is much less than one, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So do you understand why this is much less than one? Yes, no, ma'am. Kon boli Durdana? And who said yes? No, ma'am, Rami. Huh, Ramin? Yes, ma'am, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Asad, uh, Asad, you can explain it. Okay. Well, simply because uh, the mass of this whole stuff will be a lot greater than the mass of a mere tiny, teen, teeny, tiny helium nuclei whose atomic mass is just 4 AMU, about 4 AMU. Good. Okay, so Ramin, did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's a ratio of the masses of the alpha particle and the nucleus that's uh, uh, on the other side of the equation. And you know that we are talking about these nuclei, these are heavy nuclei, so therefore they're much, uh, th their mass is much higher than the alpha and therefore this ratio will be less than one, right? So that's the logic behind this. Okay. Right, ma'am. Good. So Asad gets one point. You know, Asad was feeling left out last time. Mm -hmm. So that's why I should ask more questions to give you a chance to score points, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No problem. Okay. It's good for us, actually, because the class becomes more interactive, you know, when you, we are... this. It, it, becomes... it will be much better if you can just convert these points into marks in the final. I will add them. I will give you credit. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much, ma'am. No problem. You That's earned it, problem. right? You're earning it. Okay. So M, M alpha M over Mx prime is approximately equal to 4 divided by A minus 4. Okay. And therefore, we can say that A is much greater than 4. Now, you understand the logic of this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Anyone who doesn't understand it? Me, ma'am. What's your name? Ramin. Ramin, so Chuna Thodasa, you should also get a point. This time, let's give Durdana a chance. Durdana, do you want to explain this? 
um four is the uh, atomic mass of helium nuclei jo hamare yeah. paas ml ka hai mm-hmm. so we are taking it on four matlab jo hamare paas numerator mein four hai that's the mass of alpha particle a minus four is actually the comparison between a is the atomic mass of the x dash jo hamare paas um, target nucleus hai mm-hmm. it is a very uh, large <coughs> uh, sorry it is a very large nucleus or yeah happy nucleus we going in our plasma yeah exactly so if we minus 4 from it it remains a massive number mm-hmm. which divided by 4 uh, se agar hum usko divide karenge so we will get a ratio that is very small small ratio that would be less than 1 so that's what it is explained here okay. it is very very big, bigger than 4 that makes the ratio very small okay so let's come here right so in this case uh, we have reached this conclusion and therefore we can write that m alpha over mx prime is approximately equal to 4 over a theek hai ab to problem nahi hai na therefore no man ha great so therefore we can say that t alpha is equal to q into 1 minus 4 over a Can anyone explain how we got this last equation 8.7? अब इस पे मार्क मिलेगा। मैम जो हमारे पास पिछली इक्वेशन 8.6 थी हमने उसके अंदर सिंपली वैल्यूज पुट कर दी हैं। हाँ ये वाली थी ना 8.6 जो नीचे अभी भी है हमारे पास ये वाली। This is 8.6। अच्छा तो हमने क्या किया है? जो अभी शर्जील ने अच्छा एमन जो है वो एब्सेंट है उसको बता देना मैंने नहीं उसकी प्रेजेंट लगाई राइट ओके सो क्यू ओके मैम वन प्लस एम अल्फा ओवर मैम मैं इधर ही हूँ एमन हमने तुम्हें इतनी दफा बुलाया है राइट सॉरी मैम वो उसमें पहले खुला नहीं था तो जब मुझे मैसेज पता पता चला तो मैं फौरन आ गई तुम कहाँ थी सो so, हम क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे हमने क्या पुट कर दिया फोर ओवर ए राइट तो फिर ये कैसे बन गया ये कौन एक्सप्लेन करेगा दुर्दाना यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन इट फर्दर थोड़ा सा और एक्सप्लेन करो um, हमने सिर्फ उसको इन्वर्ट कर दिया है इन्वर्ट कर दिया ऊपर चली गई है डिवाइड हो रही तो हमने मल्टीप्लाई करके इसको ऑपोजिट एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट दो लोग बोल रहे हैं अब शजील भी बोल रहा है शजील तुम बताओ तुम क्या कहना चाह रहे हो मैम मैं वाज़न्ट इवन स्पीकिंग इट वाज़ असद मैं असद बोल रहा था अच्छा असद बोल रहा है असद बताओ क्या कह रहे हो आप मैम इफ वी सिंपलीफाई द एक्सप्रेशन 4 ओवर a 4 बाय यूजिंग पार्शियल फ्रैक्शंस तो हम लोग को 1 4 ओवर a मिलता है पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन एक्चुअली दिस इज द थ्योरम ये एक थ्योरम है किसको याद आ रहा है यस मैम वो ऑर्डर वो अलग से आता है यहां पर दैट्स वेल दो बट ओके कौन सा कौन सा थे ना मैं ये कौन सी एक्सपेंशन है याद करो मैट्रिक्सिस अच्छा माय माय हां टेलर सीरीज नो आई हैज टू डील डू समथिंग विद द ऑर्डर बस उस पे होती है हमारे पास अच्छा आई एम गोइंग टू रीस्टार्ट द मीटिंग ओके मैम बट वी हैव ए क्लास एट 5 Okay so let's send it here and you can tell me next time okay
ओके मैम ओके सो ओके मैम हैव अ नाइस जस्ट वन जी बोलो 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 मैम yeah ma'am i sent that in the group as well i was studying parity a few days back okay. and i realized that in those equations there was no preferred direction of time okay like those equations were equally yeah, yeah, valid yeah, for talk about the future and the past and yeah okay that's an interesting yeah. discussion okay